Hey everyone, today I'm sharing a layout I made for poly scrap kits using the March Main Spearmint leaves. I've actually started with a piece of black cardstock from my own stash because I wanted to use the two Amy Tangerine papers in a diagonal pattern and I needed a strong base to put it on. I was then going to join it with some of the skinny washi from last month, which is a little bit of a cheat, but then I decided to cheat even more and I'm actually using some of the Amy Tangerine Skinny Washi from the Plus One collection which is available in the store. The reason I'm using this is because I've been doing my Singapore album from my trip there last year and I've been using all Amy Tangerine Plus One for it so I wanted to kind of have similar elements running through all the pages of the album. And once that's adhered down, I take the third sheet of plus one paper and I'm going to cut it down to six by six square and make a photo mat for my four Instagram pics. Now the orange in this collection and also the green are not colours that I would usually pick to use um, when making layouts, but I really, really love them in this collection. In fact, this collection has totally grown on me and if you have seen my blog, you will know I've been using it quite a bit lately. So now is the beginning of where everything starts to kind of go a little bit awry with this layout. Um, I decided I wanted to use the 4x3 journal card, um, patent card, from the printable I designed this month uh, to go under the photo mat. So that's fine, I'm going to stick it down, but then I changed my mind about where I want it because it just, I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, everything that can go wrong starts to go wrong from this point onwards. So once I've got that down, I arrange my photos back in the order I want them. But of course, I stick the wrong one down first, and so I have to pull it up and I tear the paper. That's okay, because the other one goes down. I want them in the order we ate the meals, because there is journaling to go with this page. Uh, with my Singapore album, I'm using Project Life page protectors between the layouts and the Plus One um, Project Life kit to do journaling and add extra photos that didn't get their own layout in on that side. One of my absolute favourite things in this month's kit is the exclusive Amy Tangerine acrylic shapes. They're so much fun and I'm going to use the knife and fork one and place in the middle of the four photos as an anchor point to bring them all together. So I'm going to go super fast through the next bit because I managed to mess the title up. I didn't leave enough room for the letter S on the end of the word eats. So once I'd got it down, I had to pull it up and move it all back across to the left. So I've cut a lot of this out because it was a very long and tedious process. Next, I'm taking the Cal Bartesky thickers and I'm going to do a little bit of surgery on them. I'm taking the word cherish and then I'm going to cut it apart and make the word delish uh, by adding the letter D from the word darling. Now I know when I first started scrapping I would have been mortified by this but I am going to be honest and admit that I may have more than two or three packets of these thickers so I can be pretty liberal with them and cut them apart. And that should be my finished layer, except once the camera stops rolling, I get the brilliant idea to add some watercolour paint to the top right hand corner. And in the process, manage to destroy half of the printable. So I end up using the B side of one of the papers at the back and using that for journaling and also laying under a piece of the printable, which you can see here in this picture. And also here is a close up of my handiwork on the thickers. So thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope this has given you some ideas of how to use your poly kit. And until I'm back next time, happy scrapping.